Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. And as you can see, the, the coal, the coal coke power plant's running great here. It's producing lots of coal coke. Uh, it is now, anyways. Uh, run out of fuel a few times, so I have been. Coal well, I won't say quite busy, but I have done a few things. One of the things I've done is I have this hooked up to that heat grid over there. And so that way I don't have to worry about keep filling that up. And we do have enough to keep this going. Uh, these computers have been sitting idle too, so we got to get some research going. Uh, there's a few things I do need to start getting into. Uh, let's Cutting is going to be one of them. Uh, assembler is another. Uh, but as you can see, we're going to start making our way into steel. Uh, we will get into that soon uh, we do gotta bring that copper and start getting that processed uh there seems to be an inconsistency with the doubling aspect of uh, the copper for instance uh let's go into the copper recipes here for a second so we start with the copper ore you can smelt that down and get two ingots now you can also take the copper ore and you can uh hang on a second here oh yeah i uh, take the copper ore run it through a hammer it gets you to two copper import impure ore gravel now you can take the import impure ore gravel run it through a macerator gets you two dust but it takes two dust to get one ingot now for some reason this is only with copper i've noticed with uh let's get into the iron recipe here for a second uh take a little bit of Digging around to get to it. Uh, iron dust. There we go. Impure iron dust. Uh, gravel. Okay, so we start here. So, one iron ore gets you two impure ore gravel. One impure ore gravel gets you two impure ore dust. And then the impure ore dust is a one-to-one. -one. So it does end up getting doubled. But when it goes to the copper, it reverts back. So no matter what you do, you're only getting two ingots out of every ore so whether you run it through a smelter or you run it through a, a processing line like this I don't have the ore washer in here uh, the ore washer oh, let me get away from the noise here uh, the ore washer isn't actually for uh, for doubling anymore it's just for gaining extra resources uh, apparently from what I see it's the only way to get gold now and we will need to use gold eventually uh, but if you're wondering what this is about this is one of the new features that he's done uh, he's created uh, heat networks. Now you can see the heat's coming off. This is this, this is the the heat transfer pipe. Uh, the heat transfer pipe also acts as a battery. So as you can see, the capacity is building up because it's burning fuel. The machines are using some of the the energy, but it still builds up, and that's why you see it glow red because it lets you know it has a full capacity. So what I can do. If I go ahead and I'll just take this out, I'm gonna take out the fuel, it'll burn down the last six seconds. And then we will be able to see these machines will actually keep on running until this whole grid runs out of power, heat. I wanna say power, energy, heat, same stuff. So it is no longer producing. And it's got nothing to process. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Uh, give me one sec. Okay, I'm back. I made it day two. So, yeah, I'll just take a second for this to go through. Uh, a couple, well, another thing I'm going to do is, uh, you know, like a, we're going to bring that mine in, not miner, in the copper. Uh, I've been thinking about how I want to have this arranged. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a central processing area where I bring in all the ores from the map, like the, the irons and the coppers and the uranium we'll need eventually. Uh, from what I can tell, there's no real use to the, the aluminum yet, uh, except for making the allothermic solid fuel or whatever, uh, which apparently doesn't have, have a use yet. Uh, but I want to have everything, at least try to get a couple of copper and iron nodes coming in, get them processed, we'll get some steel going and go from there. I know we'll, we'll need steel for, or, yeah, we'll need iron, I think, for stainless. I can't remember. I know we got stainless. We got to get into after that. Titanium. Apparently, titanium we're getting from the aluminum. You know, we grind the aluminum down to I think dust, run it through an industrial separator, and we actually get uh, titanium, titanium oxide dust out of it, which is interesting. 
Okay, so all three are running right now. So as you can see, I don't have any fuel in the furnace. It is not actually running. But I can get a, a minute 45 with the heat that's stored in here, which just happens to be four, four me megajoules. So if I had this thing glowing red hot, I'd probably be able to get going about 15 minutes. Not that I want to run off a, capa not a capacitor, but what I want to do is I want to make basically a giant heat core distribution center. Uh, I like the idea. I've done some testing. It doesn't seem to really affect overall length. I have seen images of, I think it was I Shall Strike. He had laid out like 200 of them. And the heat didn't really dissipate too much. What I could tell, I don't know if it was just uh, animation being certain way from the, the source. But as far as I know, it doesn't really matter where you are. You get the same amount of heat. So... I have this much coal coke going through. Uh, once we get into steel, we can upgrade all these and probably double the production, at maybe 25% faster at least. And then we can use all this stuff that's being produced to, uh, to fuel. Oh, mine just went blank here. Fuel furnaces. I don't know how many are going, but honestly, I have a limitless supply. Anyway, uh, let's let me clean this up and then we'll start getting. I'll figure out where we're gonna start bringing in all the, the conveyor lines. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It doesn't connect to all sides of the block. It seems to connect on four, but we try to get on all six. It doesn't want to. Or maybe that's just a bug. Let's try placing it back. See what happens. Yeah, it doesn't want to connect. There is no six way. All right, well, good thing that they've watched my videos, huh? Anyway, back to work. Okay, so what I'm thinking about doing is I think I'm going to put it right over here. Probably just tuck it in the, the back end a little bit. This is the, the heater core. Uh, I'm just crafting up some bricks right now, so I'll finish this up later. But let's go bring that miner in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I think uh, the entryway is going to be here. It'll be, if you look at the map, uh, if this is the way that I'm extending out. I've also talked to a developer. He's going to look at trying to get any built structure showing up on the map so I can actually see it, which would be nice. And yeah, so we have a huge water area over here. More or less an ocean, more or less a pretty big water area. So let's go build up that way. Uh, we'll probably be able to find more resources over here and everywhere else. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's uh, go grab that copper, shall we? So, I, as you know, I do have a lot of conveyors. Uh, I brought some fuel with me because I want to get a chest and, a, and an arm. Speaking of arm, chest and an arm on the furnace up at the copper there so it goes for a while. Uh, eventually, I do want to get another conveyor going out there with fuel or... When the time comes there, you will even have, like, small reactors where we don't have to do anything. Uh, yeah, I got uh, a few more up there. I don't think we'll need them. Uh, what else do I need? Uh, oh, that's about it. Let's go see how long of a conveyor we can make. I've also been finding to get the little extra higher jump if you jump first and then use the old steam pack. Okay, and you are going to be full. Of course you are. Hmm. And I didn't bring a chest. Oh, goody me. Actually, there's a chest right in front of me. Uh, hmm. All right, well, let's, let's not do that. Uh, let's not do that either. Can't do anything with cold coke right now. Let's go make a conveyor, shall we? I like how it tells you how long you want to do. Uh, let's see, I'm going this way. Do, 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 do. Okay. Which you can't see it until it's on the ground, but I can't actually see. There it is. Alright, so it's coming in this direction here. So I think we go up the hill here. Like so. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot reach it from here. Good thing I have some blocks on me. Until I play Minecraft, huh? Oh, just in time for an autosave. And the steam pack makes this easier, too. 
I don't want to get my finger on the right button. Oops, missed that one. I can place a few blocks at a time. Okay, now... I should... Get out of the block first, and I might be able to reach that. I can. Uh, let's see, okay, we're going this way. Oh, it has to be that side, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it does. That's fine. Oh, we'll get this one out. Uh, I think I can afford to spare a conveyor or two. Now will you get on the end? No, you won't. Uh, Alright, well, we get the idea. I'll bring you back when I've got it at the platform. Okay, so I got a conveyor line in. All I gotta do is take out that chest and clean up all the ore, which means I guess get a little bit more room in my inventory. Uh, I didn't have a shepherd chest to set up, so I didn't go to drop the cold coke off. Uh, this is what I've got so far, and then uh, I'll stick them just having like one line here, another line here, another line here. We'll put a nice shed around it. Maybe. You now I want to have a little bit of some sort of room, but we're definitely going to have some conveyor highways, I think. And yeah, so let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, all done. So the conveyor is moving copper this way. And it'll take about a week to get here, but it's on its way. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to get uh, a uh, processing line set up. Now, from what I've seen, the first step is the only step that actually doubles the, the ore. That's the hammering part. After that, it's just singles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have everything feed into not a chest. I'm going to actually use a, a rack. You know, an item rack because it holds 2,000 two thousand items. I'm going to have that going into a hammer and then that's going to get split off onto a, a single conveyor. On either side, there's going to be two, two arms or an arm on either side and they'll each take turns taking the ore off and putting it into a furnace or not a furnace into a macerator and then we'll go on from there now i've been thinking about how i want to actually have this set up as far as i guess stacks go and i kind of was actually thinking about uh, having uh everything on the ground but having the motors on the outside so it's going to be paired up from from the hammer uh yeah that's what is making that noise Macerator. Oh well. Anyway, so that was gonna be, it's basically gonna be like that, but it's gonna be paired up. So I'm either gonna have uh, the pipes will be under it's under the floor, by the way. I uh, just say so you no, know, but it's either gonna be uh, because it's the hammer is making this whole setup an odd number, and I'm just trying to split up and do an even number. I probably leave a room in the the center and I'm thinking about having everything having the rack in the middle so that you can see the stilling en engines on the outside the rack in the middle maybe look like a train or something I don't know but you have an idea of what I'm talking about so uh, let me figure out where I'm gonna put this and we'll go from there okay so I've decided what I'm gonna do is uh, I've got a couple of copper casings down uh, just as a marker um, I may end up doing the floor with something like this We'll see. Uh, that's when the time comes, anyways. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, start bringing this in. I might. What I might do is I probably end up bringing that back over here. In fact, that's a good idea. Uh, I can always just do that off camera. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do it right now. And look at that. I didn't even realize it was a street line all the way. And the sun's coming up. So, let's go ahead and figure out where I'm going to start this conveyor. Yes, I can talk. I know what I'm doing. Alright, so it's going to be one, three, it's going to be at least five blocks wide. I don't want to have one in between. So then I will start. We'll go here. And I didn't go all the way. That's not what I want to do. Uh... I think I could actually make the screwdriver, but that's besides the point. So we're going to go in two like so, and then I've already made the storage rack. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I was testing you. 
Now, how many of you actually commented before I saw that I did that wrong? Nobody? Liars. Anyway, uh, yeah. Just gotta figure out these new conveyors, and there we go. So now I want to actually see, and this is what I like about the new conveyors, you can actually place stuff on the belt. Because it'll be some time before those catch up, but I want to see if these actually go in, or if I have to use an arm for it. And I think I might have to use an arm, which isn't the end of the world. But while I'm doing that, I know I will have to take an ar use an arm to take out. And no, it didn't go in. I thought I made a few arms. Well, we're going to make four of them. Take that out. And while I'm waiting for those, I'm going to place put everything in place. So we're going to start off with a hammer. Let's start off with a hammer. And then the hammer is going to go to a single conveyor. And then, oh, I'm actually going to need more of those. Uh, more of the arms, that is. Thank God I got copper crafting over there. Okay. Oh, that's right. I made those casings. That's why I don't have enough. I'll make another five. Sure. All right. So arm there arm there and then then they're going to go into a pair of macerators i'm going to have the port on the outside so i have the sterling engine there i'm going to leave a gap in the middle just because i want to all right and then two more arms one there one there and a couple of smelters there and there and then from here they are going to go back into another rack. And then from there, we'll just set it to wherever. And that's what exactly what I was looking for. It's like the game read my mind. All right. Now, I do have to set the configuration on these. So that's going that way. Uh, you are going that way. Uh, you're going straight. You are going to the left. You are going to the right. Or something like that. Oh, I got this wrong too. Because this one I'll put onto a conveyor. Well, I guess we're going to move the shelf then. Easier to do it that way. Always easier. Okay, arm. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Arm. Hammer. Arm. And shelf. There we go. Alright, so that sh should take care of it. Um, I don't know if it's going to be efficient enough, but it's going to work. Alright, so I do have to get some heat sources in here. And I just realized that that's going to be over there, so... Hmm. That's fine. So, I'm just going to punch a hole underneath everything that needs heat and go from there and i'm gonna connect it all up and underneath the pipes i was thinking about building a, a sub basement down there but ugh, the amount of time it's gonna take to place all those blocks mind you i'm doing it in a line so it's not the end of the world okay so then we need uh, four sterling engines or three actually oh this is actually a cheaper setup three and and just a whole bunch of heat pipes. Now, this isn't going to do me a whole lot of good until I actually get my uh, heat plant set up. Which we're going to do in a moment. Uh, I do have to get some stuff out of the inventory. i got to make a whole bunch of these. And I'm going to actually make the, the copper furnace just because. And that's going to be to fuel it. I haven't decided how I'm going to set it up yet, but we'll figure it out. So let me get a few things done and I'll be right back. I just remembered I was supposed to be doing some research. Uh, what did I research left? Oh yeah, the cutting, cutting furnace was the cutting machine was the last one. Uh, let's go for the assembler. It's got a red uh, exclamation mark next to it. Uh, also these events are boards apparently there's plastic involved. Sounds fun. Okay, I am back. I do have a fair amount of heat pipes on me. I'm making some more. I've got some furnaces on the way. I was looking at uh, the coke ovens here at what they're doing. Oh, jump first. 
and then get, use the jetpack. And I figured out how to get that extra boost. Uh, jump and immediately use your jetpack. It's uh, the momentum of you jumping is amplified by the jetpack. So that's how you get the extra height. But I was looking at this, and so yeah, we're generating. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, 10 coke in 100 seconds, so one every 10 seconds. Uh, one will burn for 20 seconds in a furnace. I'm assuming that's just this one. Uh, this one it might be a little different, but generate that much power in that much time. So, realistically, one coke oven can fuel two furnaces. So I've got four coke ovens, which means I can have eight furnaces for now, until I upgrade these to steel and stainless and whatever is next uh, we might have to expand the plant a little bit here we got some room back here I think we can do that but anyways so let's go down here and I was thinking about setting this thing up here now I don't know how I really want to do it I'm thinking because of the shape of the furnaces I might actually have the furnaces on the top or on the like on this section here now, I don't know where I want to place it uh, but it's going to be a moment till they're crafted. But basically, it's going to be like so. And then uh, I haven't set, really decided of how I'm going to do this. I might go this way. Right, and then you can get the other two over here. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I think I got it. Yes, I do try to get sort of like a pattern going and then once it's all heated up it's actually gonna look kind of interesting now this furnace is done yet no Ugh. it'll take a while all right so yeah uh, it's gonna be basically like this eight furnaces here they're gonna be fed from the bottom with conveyors of course and then what i think i'm gonna do because everything's gonna be underground Ooh, actually i like that idea let's just do this We'll have it going right through the floor here. Like so. We'll have the furnace, and then we'll have a pipe coming through here in the floor. And all that. So let me finish this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Now, currently, the capacity is 176 megajoules, which should last a little while, but that's only if it's not being fueled. So now what I gotta do is I gotta go underneath here and try to get all four of those shelves hooked up to all eight of these furnaces. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it out in the front here so you can see what I'm gonna plan on what I plan on doing is I'm gonna have a conveyor coming up to here. And oh I do have an arm. Oh well yeah, an arm there, just uh, to give you an idea, but it's gonna pull off this side and then go into the furnace. So I'll have it facing this way, turning left. There'll be another one here that I'll just pull from the back and go forward. Uh, because they're slow, I think the conveyor will move fast enough so that they'll alternate back and forth from one and the other. So it's only going to be two two furnaces and two arms per conveyor, and each only one conveyor per shelf and over there. So I got some swimming to do, so I'll be back. Okay, everything is all hooked up now. Uh, as you can see, it wasn't exactly the easiest, but it is done. Now, let's see if I do actually have a... Oh, wait, I can actually... I do actually have a jetpack usage. And there we go. Look at that glow. Let's have a look at it at night. Anybody got marshmallows? Let's hope we don't have to melt down here. Alright, so that is good. We are storing... Tons of power, or generating quite a bit of power actually, or heat I should say. Uh, for now, we don't actually have any machines running, so whatever, not all it's up to do. I don't know how I managed to place that up here from underneath. So all you got left to do is to go back down here, and just run over here. Yeah, I probably should have. Spent some time and put a, another floor in here just a little walk on. But all you got left to do now is just. Oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, that will though. There's one there. One there and one there. And it doesn't really matter. You only really need to have one. 
And we just connect that to there. And all I have to do is just connect this up to the processing line over here. Now, I think I have, where is it? Yeah, swimming's not the best in this game. Yeah, it's over here, and I didn't actually put the pipes in. This is what I've been doing when I get to situations like this. Since it's so hard to actually do anything because you're bobbing around all the time. What I'll do is I'll place a line of blocks right down to the bottom. And then I can go and then just one block below, below the surface water the bubble, and we're good to go. And from here I can always do whatever I gotta do, and go from there. Oh, I do have the heat pipes in already. And that's the best thing to do, is because they glow, you can actually see where your power source is. That's awesome. Alright, so all it's up to do, like I said, is try to connect this. It's not going to let me reach there, is it? No, it's not. And I like how the icon of the heat, heat pipe, ah, the icon of the heat pipe is glowing. I hope I can actually reach this from here. Oh, apparently not. Oh, I'm out of bricks. That might help. Let's go ahead and craft five of those. Uh, just because, but uh, yeah, this is getting boring. I gotta kick this over there, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are on the final stretch. As I bring it back for uh, the final moment here. If I can get to the right spot. That connect? No, I didn't. So I just got please two more. Is that a lucky shot? No, it wasn't. Okay, there's one. And... Oh, I gotta do two here. Oh, this is so difficult. Aha! You're good. I'm gonna cheat. Teleport home. And look at that. We're finally running. Once we get there. So that'll take out one. Not because that arm took it right away. Didn't see the animation. Now I do believe the next one that comes out should go to the other arm. Because I've noticed that the inventory can only have one. I don't know why that is, but that just happens to be the case. Okay, that'll be this one, then next will be that one, then next will be this one, next will be that one. I, s I swear to God, I've never noticed clouds before. Maybe it's something new. So, yeah, that sure would do it. Keep us both going here. Uh, sadly, like I said, it takes two deaths for each one. But at least it's going. And that's going to slowly build up. It's fully automated. It's going to make sure I get keep some fuel in that chest over there. And so there we go. Our first, first of many lines coming in. All off a central fuel source. And that's what's great. Because all I have to do is worry about that power plant over there. As long as I see that thing glowing, I know I got power. Anyways, I think I'm going to call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.